Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures and another two minute tutorial for you. Lots of folks ask me what I use for uh, turf since I don't like static grass. Uh, lots of things you can do with static grass in terms of uh, static applicators and all that, but it never looks right to me. It, uh, the, the scale for it is just way out of whack for what we're doing at 28 or 32 millimeter, uh, 135th scale even. Static grass just doesn't work for me. So what do I use? The answer is fine turf from Woodland Scenics. This is the stuff. You can get bags of it. You can get shakers of it. Uh, chances are good you're never going to use this much in your entire life. But that's how they sell it. And what I will do, the same stuff. Bag just broke, so I've got it in here. Generally, I take the Woodland Scenic stuff and I make a blend. I will mix colors together until I have uh, something I like. Um, I'll, then I'll take my wood glue. You can also use, if you're trying to make uh, moss or dross, uh, use a bit of uh, the realistic water. I'll load up one of my crummy brushes here. And just mix that into a bit of a paste. Glue. So you can see I've really got a little paste of the fine turf here. Now I can apply that onto the base that I'm working with. Get a brush wet, get your finger wet if you want to press it around. You can also make a, a bit more variation in the terrain this way. So you can actually spread it really thin if you want to create a light grass look. So I could just wipe this out really, really fine on here. You see I get more of a mossy look. Obviously a little shiny at the moment. But as it dries matte, it'll be just fine. Or I can leave some lumps and bumps, create some actually variegated terrain. And that's it. That's how I do it. Any questions, you know where to find me. Mr. Justin at SeekWeaponMiniatures.com. But stick around for a sec because I'm actually going to show you some pictures of uh, finished pieces that actually use this technique. Thanks a bunch for watching.